Hi guys, it's Blackie and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share a little something with you. Recently I saw a video on Dave Canterbury's channel where he picked up an antique folding saw that had extra blades in it. And I thought that was a pretty cool little idea. And so I have a couple of different folding saws. I know you don't see them a lot on my channel, but I do have them. I do use them for when I need a saw. Most time I carry my little Baco or I carry my Silky saw when I'm doing light stuff. When I scale that up is where we're going to be doing a little bit of construction. I bring out a bigger all the way up to a buck saw or a big hand saw. Anything past that, we're talking chainsaw. See? But about, oh, two years ago at Pathfinder, I got this saw from Bombproof Bushcraft. And this is a Boreal 21 folding saw. Now, as you can see, it's very compact. You know, this part folds. It folds into itself and it forms. And I'll show you setting it up in a minute. But what I started doing was carrying an extra saw blade and carrying a file in this. It's in it right now. See, two fingers. Nothing's falling out. You lift up on the handle. And then you lift up on this part. Now, in here... Making sure at it, that's all sharp now. I've got a small mill bastard with a little bit of tape on it. I'm going to wedge that up into the edge of this flipper to bind the blade, like you just saw. And then, wrapped up with masking tape, is another brand new blade. That means this can also go into the strap of my Blackbird Haversack. Should I be going out there to build a buck saw and leave it in camp? This is the way I would transport it, but I'm carrying an extra blade in here with this. And then we've got the actual blade. Now what you do is this part folds. Fold that handle up, excuse me. You hook that into right there. And then you cam down on it. You hear that pop? And now you've got a buck saw. It's big enough for doing 90% of what you're going to do in bushcraft camp out of it. The weak link here is going to be that blade. Because they're good blades still, but they are thin. And you're sawing away on a gnarly piece of something. And let's say the log rolls and it snaps that blade. That's the reason I'm carrying an extra blade. Why am I carrying a file? In case the same reason, if I'm, and you've done a lot of cutting with a buck saw, you know what I mean. Sometimes the top edge of the buck saw will get kind of rolled over and get like a 90 degree spine edge on it. I can take that off, keep it from splitting and breaking. Usually if, if the saw starts getting flexed, it'll get a little bit of a kink up there. And if you ever get that wiry edge, it's going to tear and it's going to pop the blade. So that's something I can dress that up. Plus carrying this to camp, because if this is going to camp, there's a good chance a kukri or an axe or something else is also going because we're not just doing firewood, we're building something and I might need it. So carrying a, a file with me as a um, sharpener for the axe or whatever, it's easy just to tack it into this. Now this weighs nothing. I mean, honestly, it feels like you're holding like a full soda can. I mean, that's, that's kind of weight we're talking here. So it's not an encumbrance to carry it. It's light, it's handy, and the blade does a great job of, uh, job of buck sawing stuff down to size, making firewood, de lemon that type deal. Especially when you're trying to be a little quiet in a quiet camp where you don't want to be chopping. As I've said before in my Being Sneaky series, when you start going walk, walk, walk with an axe, a kukri, or whatever, you can hear a long way off. You don't hear a saw nearly as far. And so it can be quieter. So if you're not, you're trying not to disturb your other camp people, or just to be kind of have a private little camp down here and not let everybody in the woods know there's somebody down there at the river fishing. Something like this is the way to go. So all you got to do to put the blade in is this. You're gonna take it. You're gonna grab that partition again. Start keeping that edge away from you in case this thing jumps, because it is under tension. Now the tension's gone. Now, I'm going to take it, turn it, so it goes in. 
and we'll roll that over. I'm going to take my saw blade and I'm going to run it into that slot down there. Run it back so it passes just underneath it, just like that. And you can do it that way too. Slide it in that way up underneath so that this is over it. Let me slide it in place. I think you can see it up in there. That's it right there. That's the end of the saw blade and it's up under that. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to come from that side where I just put that new blade. I'm going to put it in right under the edge and feel it kind of want to bind. Just a minute. Just like that. Put it in there. Squeeze it down and then I'm going to push that down in there and push it in place. Alright? Now this folds over. Now nothing's going to fall out. Everything is good to go right there. And as you noticed, I keep a piece, the number 36 bank line just looped over that end so I can hang this up. This also makes it very easy in my uh, Nighthawk. I can slide this thing down in my Nighthawk, leaving that sticking up, and I can get it and pull it out easy. Okay? So that makes for quick and easy insertion into the rucksack to extract it and to put it back in, putting this handle up top. Now, that sticking up, you can wiggle it and get it in there a little bit deeper, but it's because of the length of it. It's butting up against this, and I want it to. So that's the only thing. Make sure that's been rounded off. Remember that file? So there's nothing sharp there that's going to cut any of your ear. Besides that, that's how to take one of these Agawa Boreal 21 saws and carry extra saw blades with it. Hope you've enjoyed this, guys. If you have, hit that like and share before you go. I'd really appreciate it. Till next time, guys, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.